Hi, Felina here with Skylar. And uh, Skylar, you went through the strategic planning workshop we do here at Hera Hub. Uh, this conversation always comes up at the end of the year as entrepreneurs uh, have some time to step back and think about the <laughs> upcoming year and what they're going to achieve. And the way we do this here at Hera Hub is uh, all about this little black book. <laughs> and uh, my black book is really my business Bible, if you will. I am a very visual person. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I wrote a traditional business plan for my business, you know, the old 40 page document uh, <laughs> uh, for Hera Hub before I started, because I really felt it was an exercise I needed to go through. And also, I had asked. Uh, for a loan from my father to start the business um, and I really felt like I needed to show him in sort of the traditional way uh, what my thoughts were around the business. But now what I do, all my strategic planning, we do a workshop here mm -hmm. that takes our members through this exact same exercise. Um, and P.S. I put my vision board in the back, I paste it in the back. Mm -hmm. um, we really take our members through a process that thinks about every aspect of their business uh, from a big picture vision and goal, what we say usually a five year goal, a one year goal, mm -hmm. and then we drill down from there into a top 10 goals for the year. And everything that we focus on is action. How are you going to implement this in your business? I, it doesn't matter that you get out, you've got these goals unless they get into your calendar and you really sync them into your business. So some of the exercises we do are around uh, just really reaffirming who your target customer is, uh, the positioning statement, so to speak, how you position yourself against competition. We get into uh, your marketing plan and what are your weekly actions you're gonna take for your business. And this is all done in uh, a visual format, as I like to say, freehand, a lot of color, um, because for me in particular, this is an opportunity to have a portable version and a visual version of my business plan that I can share with my team. I can share with new team members. I can share this with strategic alliances. We can share with interns we bring on to the team. And Skylar, since you went through this process a little earlier in the year, what were a couple things that you took away from this day of really stepping out of the business and looking at it? I think it's one thing just to say that you own a business, but you know, when people ask you, well, what's your process for getting clients or for getting speaking engagements? It's kind of like, well, <laughs> it's really a referral. I just kind of leave it up to chance. That was honestly my old system, which I'm still working at honing a real concise system for I need approximately 10 leads. It's really getting tactical. And for if you're a dreamer, artistic person like me, it can be a real struggle to really be strategic, to make a list, to type things out and really you know, schedule things and plan. I'm not, that's not me at all. And so really sitting down and forcing myself to say, okay, well this is what I would like to accomplish at the end of the year. So, well what do I need to do? It's one thing just to say that you want that. What do you have to do to get it? Yeah. And then how often do you have to do it to get it? And where do you do it? And when do you do it? Yes. So for me, because I, Red Balloon, which is my business, is not, I'm not 100% sustainable with it maybe 50 percent of the way. So my plan really is, well, if I still have to divert my attention and work to do other things, how can I make sure that I'm still, you know, honoring my business plan also? And so really having the book, yes, <laughs> the Bible, the Bible, and revisiting it to ensure yeah. that you're really following yeah. through helps you stay focused. So if you do have contract jobs or other things, that's fine. But then yeah. you know, well, Mondays and Tuesdays I'm, Tuesdays, I'm supposed to be focused here. Or sometimes you forget, oh, I had such a great idea with my strategic alliances. I don't know who they are anymore. You can go back and visit. So. It's a really good way to really force you to be a real business owner because everyone can start a business, but one of my favorite things that you said, Felina, is actually 
I used to be the kind of business owner that said, I have money in the bank account, that means I'm successful. <laughs> and then stopping and looking every month, this is how much money I made, this is how much money I spent, and really getting tactical with it. I think that's essentially what the strategic planning workshop is. It's it's putting on your big entrepreneur pants <laughs> and really kind of coming up with a system. Absolutely. And putting a, a, a line in the sand, a claim in the sand, so to speak, of here's how much money I'm going to make next year. And we do that, but everything is visual except the projections portion of the day, which we spend at least an hour on of really thinking through, okay, what sales, what kind of sales am I going to bring in every single month and what's the logic behind how we're going to do this? And I can't even tell you how many aha moments. Mm -hmm. I mean, yesterday alone we took 15 women through this plan in nine hours covering every segment of the business and every single time, and it was true yesterday, I had so many light bulbs go on when we do those actual projections. Mm -hmm. How much money are you going to bring in? Bring in what are your costs? So if you're in a product-based business, what are your costs of goods sold? Mm -hmm. If you're in a service-based business, most of your costs are fixed costs. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're going to scale and you want to reach, you know, we ask people to put a number down at the very beginning of the day. How much money do you want to make next year? And you know, and the woman will say two hundred thousand dollars. And when we really put <laughs> pen to paper or Excel mm -hmm. to computer, if you will, to say, okay, how are you going to make two hundred thousand dollars in sales and income next year? It's it's revolutionary for yeah. a lot of people to say, okay, I either need to bring in talent, I need mm -hmm. to bring in some folks to physically do some mm -hmm. of this consulting work or whatever it is, or I need to productize my business mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting.